Hello my fellow riders and welcome back to Riding Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Nico GPX 50cc Euro 5 scooter. Now as you can see we're standing next to the Nico GPX 50cc Euro 5 scooter. Now this bike comes in as several different colours. It comes in a red, black, Rosso colours and also Repsol edition. Currently there isn't many in stock but they will be soon to follow. So we're going to do this the same way we normally do, spec, design, comfort, cost of riding and pros and cons. Now as you can see this is a 50cc Euro 5 scooter. They also do a 125 version and you will notice a couple of similarities to the Lexmoto Diablo. Also they come in a 50 and a 125. It is a GY6 engine and you should be looking at it producing somewhere in the region of 3 to 4 horsepower. I don't know exactly because they haven't released a spec sheet on it. So there you go. This is a electronically carbureted version. I thought that Euro 5 had to be fuel injection but it doesn't so it is a electronically carbureted version and one good thing about this is uh, you can use your OBD reader you do have to have a special adapter but it will work on your standard car OBD reader so on this bike it has an analog speedo on the top it's got kilometers an hour on the bottom it's got miles per hour it does have a digital trip meter time how much fuel you got doesn't have a gear because it's got no gears. Design. So this is the Nico GPX 50cc and it comes in several different colors. Well, I mentioned that earlier. So it comes in the red, the black, the Rosso colors and the Repsol colors. You will notice quite a lot of similarities to the Lexmoto Diablo 50cc and 125s, but there are some slight differences. As I said before, it comes with the 12 inch wheels front and back and the hydraulic brakes front and back. Good thing with this is it's got LEDs all, re all the way around and it does come with the uh, front projection headlight. So at night that is gonna make things a lot brighter for you. And the brighter you are, the more likely you are to be seen. There's not really a lot to say other than that. It's got some nice sharp edges and, and what can you say? If you like it, you like it. Comfort. Because it is a step through scooter, you have the protection on your legs from some of the weather. It won't stop it all, but it will stop quite a bit of it. You can get an extended screen on this if you wanted to. It's not one designed as specifically for this bike, but you can put it onto the uh, handlebars. It's not specifically comfort, but the lights do make quite a big difference. As you can see, they're really, really bright. And you're gonna be able to see for quite a distance with them. Comfort wise, the seat is quite nice and quite soft. It does have gas filled shocks at the back. So that means that they're gonna be slightly better on speed bumps and stuff like that. But all of these sort of bikes, you're gonna, because of the size of the wheels, because of the dimensions of the bike and the way that everything sits, um, you are going to be getting more vibration through the road and more, um, not as much resistance to road conditions. It's just the way it is, the bigger tyre you get, the, usually the better it is for that sort of thing. So as I said, it comes with LED lights front and back. This would be fine for um, one person to be using for a commuting basis around a town or a city. You can do extra urban if you want to, but it's not really designed for that. Also, you can take two people on it if you wanted to, but again, it's not really designed to do that. It's got the foot pegs, it's got the handles, and it's got the position, but it hasn't really got the power. It is a 50. Cost of riding. So this bike comes in at 1,849 pounds plus 100 pounds on the road. This is Euro 5 prices and quite a lot of prices now have gone up quite considerably on everything. The tax you don't have to pay for for the first year and the MOT is uh, exempt for three years. 
For insurance for a 16 year old, you should be looking at somewhere in the region of 350 to 500 pounds. There is a lot of factors that go into uh, calculate insurance. So this is an average for most people. It might not be the same for all people. Remember, if you're riding a motorbike legally, all you have to wear is a helmet. I do suggest that you wear more than a helmet. Like, I don't personally wear trousers, but that's my preference. In theory, you should do, but most people don't because they're cumbersome and you have to carry them around with you usually because the ones that are normal trousers um, usually don't fit very well. That's what I've found. You may find different, but that's what I've found. For a full setup, helmet, jacket, gloves, trousers, and boots, the cheapest option would be somewhere in the region of 180 pounds. All of this stuff is safety tested in the UK for the UK market. So they all have G-test shock protection and all this sort of stuff. Um, yes, within a certain amount, you do get what you pay for. And the difference between the cheaper helmets and the more expensive helmets is normally weight. Pros and cons. Now, this is a 50cc bike and it will only go 32 miles an hour. In theory, you can de-restrict it, but legally as a 16 year old, you're not legally allowed it. It will void your warranty, it will void your um, insurance, and it will void your license. So if you get caught by the police with a de-restricted motorbike, potentially you could lose your motorbike, you could lose your license and your insurance would be canceled. Now, again, because it is a scooter, they have 12 inch wheels and you will find that a bigger wheel holds the road better. So yes, this bike is more designed for um, inner city use rather than extra urban or urban or, or they're designed for the city. They're designed for a 16 year old to be able to use it to get to and from college, school, work, whatever, until they get a bigger bike. So a full faced helmet, uh, this one's a GSB one. They are kind of large. It only just doesn't fit. So uh, other makes and models with slightly different shape, maybe without this top bit, will fit in. But this one doesn't. So there you have it. The Nico GPX 50cc Euro 5 motorway. Now I hope you've enjoyed my video and I hope it has given you the information you need to go out and buy potentially this or potentially any other motorbike out there. I have a lot of videos on other ones. So if you uh, are looking for something else, go and check them out. But I hope you've liked my video. If you have, hit that thumbs up because that tells the YouTube algorithm that you like my video. If you don't like my video, comment below and tell me how I can make it better. As you can probably see from some of my other videos, I am always trying to make my videos better. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all my latest content. But as always, ride safe.